Have you ever had night terrors? Do you see the movements of beings out the corner of your eyes? Have you ever spoken words and minutes later it happened? Are you looking for answers? Then seek them here. Creative Inspiration Radio is now on with your host, Alanda Vidarjan. Hello, and welcome to this edition of Creative Inspirations Radio, also known as Creative Eye Radio. I'm your host, the Reverend Alanda Vidarjan, and this episode is being brought to you by our friends at daymuse.com. If you have questions about the occult, tarot, necromancy, or the paranormal, you'll find answers at daymuse.com. On our last edition, I told listeners about Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, author of the Sherlock Holmes mysteries, and that he got into spiritualism after the death of his son during the war to end all wars, World War I. I also told you that he joined the Ghost Club. Well, the Ghost Club was founded in London in 1862. Its focus was the scientific study of alleged paranormal activities in order to prove or refute the existence of paranormal phenomena. Famous members of the club have included Charles Dickens, Sir William Crookes, Sir William Fletcher Barrett, and Harry Price. Pioneering American psychologist William James studied spiritualism, publishing supportive conclusions, the seances of Yusufia Bayadino were attended by investigators including Pierre and Marie Curie, and the celebrated New York physician John Falcon Gray was also a well-known and prominent spiritualist in New York City. The movement quickly spread throughout the world, though only in the United Kingdom did it become a widesp- as widespread as in the United States. Spiritualist organizations were formed in America and Europe, such as the London Spiritualist Alliance, which published a newspaper called The Light, featuring articles such as Evenings at Home in Spiritual Seance, Ghosts in Africa, and Chronicles of Spirits Photography, advertisements for mesmerists, and patent medicines, and letters from readers about personal contacts with ghosts. In Britain, by 1853, investigations to tea among the prosperous and fashionable often included table turning, a type of seance in which spirits would communicate with people seated around a table by tilting or rotating the table. A particular important convert was the French pedologist Alan Kardec who made the first attempt to summarize the movement's practices and ideas into consistent philosophical system. Kardec's books, written in at least 15 years of his life, sorry, in the last 15 years of his life, became the textual basis of spiritualism, which became widespread in Latin countries. In Brazil, Kardec's ideas are embraced by many followers today. In Puerto Rico, Kardec's books were widely read by the upper class and eventually gave birth to the movement known as Mesa Blanca, the White Table. Spiritualism was mainly a middle and upper class movement, and especially popular with women in the United States. Spiritualists would meet in private homes for seances, at lecture halls for trans lectures, at state and national conventions, and at summer camps attended by thousands. Amongst the most significant of the camp meetings were Camp Etna in Etna, Maine, Onset Bay Grove in Onset, Massachusetts, Lilydale in western New York State, Camp Chesterfield in Indiana, Wanawak Spiritualist Camp in Wanawak, Wisconsin, and Lake Pleasant in Montague, Massachusetts. In founding camp meetings, the spiritualists appropriated a form developed by United States Protestant denominations in the early 19th century. Spiritualist camp meetings were located mostly in most densely in New England, but were established across the mid, upper New West, Northwest, also Casadaga, Florida, most notably spiritual camp meeting in the southern states. Mainstream newspapers 
treated stories of ghosts and, ha and hauntings as they were would any other news story. An account in the Chicago Daily Tribune in 1891 says sufficiently bloody to suit the most fastidious taste. Tales of a house believed to be haunted by the ghosts of three murdered victims seeking revenge against their killer's son, who was eventually driven insane. Many families, having no faith in ghosts, thereafter moved into the house, but all soon moved out again. In the 1920s, many psychic books were published of a varied quality. Such books were often based on excursions initiated by the use of a Ouija board. A few of these popular books displayed unorganized spiritualism, though most were less insightful. The movement was extremely individualistic, with each person relying on her own experiences and reading to discern the nature of the afterlife. Organization was therefore slow to appear, and when it did, it was resisted by mediums and translecturers. Most members were content to attend Christian churches, and particularly the Universalist Church harbored many spiritualists. On our next edition, we will discuss the origin of spiritualism and how it played out with other religions, such as Judaism. Again, if you would like to explore the world of spirits, please visit daymuse.com where you'll find interesting information on various aspects of the paranormal, preternatural, and the occult. They also offer workshops in locating and understanding your spirit guides and have an e-zine that's free to subscribe to that provide tips and ritualistic magic and historical tidbits about the occult, religion, spiritualism, and paranormal realms. Remember, Day Muse is spelled D-A-M-E-U-S-E. -E. If you have questions, feel free to drop an email to me at contact underscore us at creativeiradio.com. That's creative, the letter I, radio.com. Until next time, keep magic in your heart, breathe deep, and exhale your stress back in the universe, and pray for guidance and enlightenment. I'm the Reverend Alain David Jean, and I'll return soon. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Creative Inspiration Radio with Alain de Vidargeon. For more information on paranormal, parapsychology, or preternatural phenomena, visit us on the web at www.daemuse.com. That's D A E M U S E.com. And take part in one of our informative workshops. Also, follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Creative Eye Radio. Until next time, pleasant thoughts and abundance. Mm -hmm.